So now that we have our data, we're going to uh, create the model. So I've got my testing, my training, and the setup in the folders nicely. Okay, so we'll go back to my Xcode. I'm going to click on the Xcode button, developer tools, and create ML. So this has moved from Swift Playgrounds. Um, if you saw my previous tutorial using Swift Playgrounds, uh, it's now a little application with a nice interface. Uh, we're going to create a new project. And we're going to select image classification. There are other options if you'd like to explore later on. This project's going to focus around image classifying. I'm going to call this image classifier, make sure it's my name. And I'm going to save this where I've got my testing data. So here it gives you a nice wizard that you can sort of follow through. So first of all, select my folder. My training data, I can see I've got two classes there. It's going to be two classifications. Uh, validation data is sorted for us, that's automatic. Just selects a sample from each, and then I can pick my testing data as well and open that up. And again, I can see that matches, and there's two classes. Uh, we do have uh, how many iterations, how many times you want to test and go through, and we can also add these augmentations, which we're going to talk about a little bit later on. Uh, but this allows you to increase your data set if you have a small data set. So just click train. Uh, it's going to extract all the features, it's going to process my images, uh, and eventually will create a nice little result for us. So here we can see the accuracy of our model is quite high. Uh, now testing through the model. So our dry images uh, don't quite have the same precision. Now remember, if you have more images, it will take more time. Uh, from there, we can go to the output. Press on the get button. And this will save our model. I'm going to call it image classifier. I'm going to put this into my demo folder for now. And it creates a little package for us, which we can then uh, put into our Xcode project. I'll save that, save my model and close. I can always come back to that create ML. Go to my finder and drag that into my project. And in the next video, I'm going to show you uh, how we can improve the accuracy of models.